Bonne soirée, bon appétit. Oh my gosh. Grilled fish. Not just any grilled fish. One of my favorite fishes. I have a lot of favorite fishes. Many. But mackerel is a favorite of mine. Now, this is served a lot. Uh, this is a Spanish micro, and they are served a lot along the French coast, the Spanish coast, and the Italian coast, and they're usually grilled. Many ways to make them, but grilled is one of my favorite ways. And tonight, we're going to do it on the rotisserie. And if you don't have a rotisserie, you can grill it on a barbecue, you can grill it on your stove, you can bake it, you can, eh, anyways, you can use this recipe however you want. But we're going to also serve it with baby broccoli, which is going to be lightly roasted in the rotisserie. We're going to do some baby uh, fingerling potatoes which is going to be really yummy because anyways, but I'm going to make a basil, uh, garlic mixture to marinate this. And you really don't need many ingredients for a macro because it's naturally has a lot of fat in, in it and super healthy for you. If you have cholesterol, eat macro. They'll get it down. Um, so, first thing is I'm going to make my, oh, my uh, rub, marinade, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to take these basils that I picked from the backyard. By the way, cut a basil this way, it won't kill your plant. Um, and then you have these beautiful flowers to like garnish your, your plate with. And I'm dropping all that basil in here. And this is such an easy dish. This, this will literally, if you do it in the oven, 20 minutes, if you do it in the, on the rotisserie, uh, about 30 minutes. Um, super easy. So I need a couple of garlics in there. And I'm just going to take a couple of cloves here. And cut them. And smash them. And add all that to my basil, which is going to be my mixture. Now, I had the fishmonger take the fins off, gutted it, and degilled the, uh, the, uh, the fish. They do that for free, by the way. Almost all the grocery stores will do it, fishmonger. So, give it a good tap with your palm. Peel it and drop it in there. We're going to use a little mixer. If you don't have one of these little mixers, it's okay. Use your bigger mixer. Or you can do it by hand and cut everything, dice it, and mix it up. Or use a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, I forgot what that's called. Um, but anyways. Do a tap here. They'll come back to me. You know what? Um, I will put it in the description because I really can't remember. All right, now I have a shallot here. This is a really small shallot. Um, and I get it from my farmer's market and I like these smaller shallots because they're um, really flavorful and just add a lot of yumminess. I'm just going to cut it in half and peel the outer shell. Which, oh, there we go. 
Boom, drop that in there. And I'm gonna drop a little pepper. I'm gonna put a little sea salt, because we all have too much sodium in our diets, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna drop uh, some olive oil in here. Mmm, a little more. There we go. And then I'm gonna put my little mixer on here. And I'm gonna make my You see how I did that? <laughs> it's really just to mix it up. All right, I like the sound of that. Okay, let's take a look. Beautiful. And I'll put that on a plate so you can see it, but so it's just like a little pesto now. It's gutted. But I need to cut some some little slates into this. Oh my god. I love mackerel. Such a delicious fish. You know, if you guys like salmon, you'll like mackerel. Um, it's such a healthy fish to eat, and in my opinion, it's tastier than salmon. I think in most people's opinion, it's tastier than salmon. Okay, now, got some sea salt here. I'm just going to drop that into the cavity, and don't be shy, yeah, I'm quite a bit of pepper. Okay, now my fishmonger gave me a wrap, and I take a clean one that was on the outer surface, and this is a Steve trick. Throw that on there. Drop my mixture on there. Get your hands dirty. Get that beautiful sweet basil. Um, if you don't have access to basil from your garden, go to the grocery store and get some because for this recipe, you can't use dry. You need you need the fresh stuff. Okay, now notice the slits. I'm pushing this in there. And I'm just going to flip it and put it in there. And into the gills as well. Look at that. And then I'm going to rub it in here. Get the rest in there. Beautiful. This is going to add a little sweetness to your macro. Okay, now you got a lot of basil on your hands. Try to brush it down and put it in here. All the way there. There we go. Oh, gosh, I've got my kitchen. <laughs> okay, so now you're just gonna. This is so easy. Your prep time is almost done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop some salt, flip it, wipe your hand, 
Add up some salt. One more rub and go across like this. One more rub, go across like this. And then it's messy, but I promise you this is going to be delicious. Okay, one more thing. Wipe your hands one more time. And we're going to take a little olive oil. And this is really fatty, so you don't really need much. And when I say fatty, I mean fish fatty. Okay, now lightly toss it, lightly toss it, and now I, by the way, use old kitchen towels. <laughs> Now I'm just going to wrap this. And I'm just going to let it marinate for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to put it back into the fridge. Oh. And just, just let those those flavors soak into it and I promise you it will be delicious so the only thing left and we will be back we're done with that is I'm going to slice some lemon I'm going to put a little lemon juice squeeze a little lemon juice on both sides and put a little bit of lemon wedges on the inside and on the outside onto my French cage I'm sorry, my fish cage for my La Corne Rotisserie. Um, if you're doing it on a barbecue, any cage will work. Um, just make sure you do what I did, olive oil it. Um, it has a lot of uh, oils in there, so it doesn't stick really much, but it's best to do this. It still sticks, so do what I suggest. Anyways, we will be back uh, in about 30 minutes. And I'll show you how I do this on my beautiful Le Cornard Matisserie. All right, we're back. So what I did is I took my young broccoli and put olive oil in it. Um, I boiled my little potatoes for five minutes in my broth. And I'm just going to put that to the side. Now... Um, if you're not a subscriber, um, you will know this, but uh, I made clarified butter um, uh, maybe three episodes, four episodes before, and this was the curd that was discharged from the clarified butter. So I'm going to use this. If you don't have this, um, you can use a little butter, or you don't even have to use this, just olive oil. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my potatoes, and notice I put the broccoli to one end, and I'm just going to drop this lovely, all this butter in here. Get a spoon to get it all in there. And it's the, it's the protein of the butter that I clarified. And let me tell you, this is going to add just an amazing flavor to the potatoes, to the broccoli. And there we go. Oh my God, that's going to that's going to be delicious. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side. Now, I sliced my lemons. Get my fish. Oh, there we go. And that fish is just been marinating all that beautiful flavor. And I'm just going to take the lemon, put it on a towel here. I'm going to need all the room I can. I'm going to take my beautiful mackerel, put 
to the side here. All right, so this is my cage from Lecorno. If you're not using a Lecorno, which is great. By the way, amazing, but it's okay. Use any fish cage you want. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop it in the center here. Hmm, look at that. And I'm gonna grab this guy. Drop it in there. And you know, whatever fish cage you're using, and I recommend using a fish cage. Even on the barbecue or whatever, it just holds everything. Oh, hold the phone. Steve, of course, we got something. Our lines, but it's okay because I didn't completely tighten that sucker. So I'm gonna put a lemon there. I'm gonna put a lemon there. Ugh. And I'm going to put a lemon there. Okay. Put it in the cage. Get those lemons captured. Get the lemons captured in the cavity on the other side. So I am going to continue to tighten this up. And yeah. Oh, my lord. Yeah, we're almost there. Look how that is. Look how beautiful that is now. Okay, don't over tighten. Just so the lemon's pressed and nothing shakes out. That's what you want. All right. So. I'm gonna change the camera view so that you can see how I'm gonna put this into the rotisserie and how amazing that's gonna be. So I need to preheat it. And I'm doing this on my life partner rotisserie. Takes a few seconds. There we go. So we got that going. And we got our potatoes and our broccoli. And I'm going to push the potatoes all the way to the edge. And that. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay. Now I'm going to take my beautiful fish. Oh, I got it backwards. My beautiful mackerel. All right. So let's put it in there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to change the camera view so you can see this beauty. Okay. All right. So we will be back. All right. So I got my beautiful macro spinning on the rotisserie. And I'm just going to take a little vegetable broth and then drop it in here. I don't need much. And I'm just going to let this do its magic, and we will be back. Bon soir, bon appétit. Oh my gosh, look at my beautiful macro. It is ready. And I'm just going to, my vegetables are ready, my macro is ready. I'm just going to demount this guy, drop it into my tray. Thank you. 
like, oh my god. Look at that. So we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna let it cool. I'm just gonna demount the macro and I am gonna serve it and I'll show you what that looks like. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, share with the world <laughs> if you enjoyed this. But anyways, this is gonna be delicious. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, bon soleil, bon appétit, and what up?